guys, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am sharing how I clean my Keurig coffee machine as well as cleaning and organizing my little coffee station and coffee cabinet. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, obviously I'm gonna clear off my coffee station area and my Keurig definitely needed a good cleaning. I think it had been like a year since I've done this. So I use hot vinegar to clean and descale my machine. I just pour white vinegar in one of these glass microwave safe containers and microwave it for about three minutes. So then I will pour it into the emptied water reservoir and let it run through a couple of cycles. I've ended up heating up the vinegar two different times. And then after as much as the vinegar has ran through as possible, I will start adding water to dilute the solution and run that through a few more times. I know that there is like kits made specifically to descale Keurig machines, but this is basically free, so free is free. After I've ran the vinegar, I am then going to disassemble some parts of my Keurig. I actually didn't even know you could do this for quite some time, and it makes a huge difference with cleaning, so I just unscrewed the little screws and pulled out the main coffee cup compartment. This right here is what usually is the dirtiest. And then I am going to just put all of these parts and pieces in my sink, fill it up with hot soapy water and just let them soak. And while those parts and pieces are soaking, I'm gonna continue to run some cycles through the Keurig. So as you can see here in the first cup that was dispersed, it was definitely super dirty. And then I'm using this small little wand scrubber, which is I think for straws normally. I just got it damp and put the tiniest bit of dish soap on it and just ran it around in all the different spaces, nooks and crannies. And then I just manually pour some water through the compartments at different angles to try to rinse it out. And then I am going back in with a damp microfiber cloth, once again, shoving it in all the nooks and crannies and just wiping it out as best as I can. I feel like this process probably looks like it's a lot of work, but it maybe only took me like 30 minutes to clean this thing. And then I am just running one final cycle through just to make sure everything is rinsed nice and clean. And now I am going to rinse and dry off all the different parts and pieces. Lastly, I am going to clean the water reservoir. So I'm just rinsing that with some hot water and dish soap as well, and then letting it dry out. And while all of those are drying, I am going to clean out and reorganize my coffee cabinet. It really wasn't bad, but I knew I needed to wipe down the shelves and just kind of declutter some random things in here. I also took a picture of the setup so I would remember how I had everything because it was a good use of space and how I had it was working well for me. So I'm just starting by removing everything out of the cabinet. and using my damp microfiber cloth to wipe down all the shelves, my tea diffuser and reusable K-cups and the little plastic container I keep them in. I'm going to put them all in hot soapy water and let them soak while I am reorganizing the cabinet. So basically I'm just assessing everything that I have, restocking my little tea organizer here. Probably close to like five or six years ago now, I bought a bulk order of green tea from Amazon and I swear this this tea is gonna last me the rest of my life. I have so many tea bags. <laughs> and then I could condense down a lot of the boxes. I had an empty tea container in here, probably because I was sad it was all gone and I wanted to make sure I could order some more of it. I put all of my little hot chocolate packets in this nice little container here.
And then before I put everything back in, I'm just giving the shelves one more wipe using my surface cleaner and a paper towel just to make sure it's clear of all the debris and coffee grounds and coffee splatters. These little wire riser things I think are awesome for maximizing space in any cupboard. I think I got mine on Amazon and they are a little bit bigger in size but I know you can get some variation of these at the Dollar Tree. I followed the same general setup that I had previously, but just, I guess, moved things around just to switch things up a little bit. So I'm just putting all of my mugs back in here. I did not need to declutter really any of my mugs. My collection is fairly streamlined, I would say. So all of my main everyday mugs I put down on the bottom shelf and up at the top I've got holiday mugs except for my Halloween ones I've got an insane collection of Halloween mugs so I keep those elsewhere And now I am reassembling my Keurig machine, just giving it a little bit of a wipe down and putting it back in its place. Now we are going to redecorate my little coffee station countertop area here. I didn't change too much. I have this art print that I like to lean against the backsplash area to kind of disguise the cord. So I am just cleaning the glass and then bringing back in my gold tiered tray, giving that a little bit of a clean. And I added a few new different details to the tiered tray. I recently picked up these tiny little spoons to use for my coffee and I thought I would display them out here rather than keep them in my drawer. All right, and now I'll give you guys just a final look at how my coffee cabinet and coffee station came out. So starting in here, it's not much different than it looked before, but everything is clean. Everything is kind of streamlined, condensed down organized and looks nice and aesthetically pleasing. These are my little hot chocolate packets. And then I put all of my stevia sugar packets in this candle jar that's emptied out. This is my cold brew pitcher thing. These are all of my reusable K-cups. I don't use the disposable K-cups because they're just so bad for the environment. I. <laughs> I see no point, so I use strictly the reusable ones. And then all of my teas, holiday mugs, and tea overflow up there. And then a few more teas and uh, my vanilla flavoring. And then a few of my mugs are in the dishwasher because I've used them. But when they are all clean, they fit perfectly in this space. Then I've got my coffee canisters. And then down here, here's my tiered tray. Got some of my Werther's and my little coffee spoons. I have sugar in there. I put this little silver dish out here. I don't have anything in it, but I felt like I needed to balance the top. I almost want to just get sh sugar cubes to put in there because I just think it would look really pretty. And then my Keurig is all nice and clean now. I have a bad habit of leaving it closed. I'm gonna try to keep keep it open so it can air dry a little better and not get as gross, I guess. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed for more home decor and organization videos. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual, and I'll see you guys next time.